Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. Welcome back to how to build a blog in Elementor. In the previous lesson, we learned how to edit and enable a 404 page. And in this lesson, we'll create a special landing page to showcase the most important links on our site. Also known commonly as the link in bio page, this page's link can be used on social media profiles where you may be limited to one link, such as on Instagram. We'll begin by creating a new page and naming it Links. Then we'll click Edit with Elementor. First off, let's hide the header and footer and start with a blank page. To do this, we'll go to Page Settings and change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Perfect. Next, we'll create a new section with one column. We'll set the width to 500 and change the height to fit to screen. Then we'll select the column and set the widget space to zero to remove the default space between widgets. Great! Now that we have our page structure, we can begin adding content. First, we'll drag in an image widget and select and insert our image. Next, we'll add a link to take visitors to the website homepage. Click Custom URL, Dynamic Tags, and select Site URL. Next, we'll round the image by going to Advanced, Mask, and toggle it on. The default shape is a circle, so we're all set. Score! Next, we'll drag in a button widget. We'll add our social media handle as the text and enter our social link. Then we'll align the text to the center. In style, change the typography to text and add a border radius to round the corners. In advanced, we'll unlink and add some padding to the top and bottom of the button. We'll drag in another button and enter our text. Then we'll add the link to the checklist. Set the alignment to justified. Then, in style, set the text color to primary and button color to full transparency. Next, we'll set the button hover state. We'll change text color to white and the button color to accent. Nice. Now we'll add a border around our button. Change the type to solid and the width to one. We'll set the color to accent. Then we'll set the border radius to zero to sharpen the button corners. Next, we'll add some padding. Click the link icon to unlink the padding. Then update the padding values to increase the spacing around the button text. Moving over to the Advanced tab, let's unlink the margin values and add a margin to the bottom, which will add some space between the buttons as we add more of them to the page. Adding more buttons will be a breeze. All we need to do is right-click and select Duplicate. Repeat two more times. Nice! How fast was that? Now we'll select each of our duplicated buttons and update its text and link. And for the last button, click Advanced and remove the margin to set the button back to its defaults. Perfect! The desktop view is all set. Let's check Responsive View. We'll use the shortcut Ctrl or Command Shift M and select Tablet from the top bar. It looks perfect, so let's switch to Mobile now by selecting it from the top bar. 
The elements are cutting quite close to the edge here, so let's add some space around them. Select the column, and in Advanced, unlink the padding. Now add some padding, and voila! Our page is now optimized for mobile. OK, let's publish and preview. Great! Now all that's left to do is log into Instagram, edit profile, and update our website URL. Now anytime a follower clicks this URL, they'll go straight to our links page. So now there's no need to update our link in bio every time we post on Instagram or create a third-party link in bio page and deflect visitors from visiting our website. Pretty handy! In our next lesson, we'll learn how to manage multiple authors on our website. So be sure to keep watching!